Hello Disney friends, I hope you're doing well today. I am freaking out because this is the first look at the brand new Disney Parks Disney Store exclusive fig pins. We're going to be taking a closer look, take that detailed review at all of them that they are releasing and they are so, so beautiful. I am so very excited and I would love to give a huge shout out and thank you to Figpin for sending these over to me to share with you. I'll have Figpin's website linked down below and of course shop Disney and stay tuned to the Disney parks as these will be coming out very soon and some of them have actually started to appear so if you're heading to the park soon definitely check these out. I have yet to open the box but I have seen pictures of these characters and when I did I screamed. There are literally so many amazing fig pin characters out there and they're just continuing to expand their series. I actually did a video last week on a bunch of brand new Star Wars ones. They're such amazing collectibles. I love them so so very much. A reveal Disney Parks Fig Pins. You're kidding. These, I can already say 100%, these are my favorite fig pins they have ever made. There are 13 fig pins we're going to be looking at today, so let's just jump right into it. The first one we are going to look at is Mike Wazowski. This is collectible pin number 450. Fig pins are recommended for ages 14 plus as you can see there on the packaging and for this one I'm going to give just a quick overview of what fig pins are if you are unfamiliar with them. Fig pins are metal figures and pins, a nice two-in-one. They come in these really really nice collectible acrylic cases and you can display and use your fig pen however you wish. You can display it as a figure, as a pin, or in this beautiful case. Each fig pin comes with a special code on the back that you can enter into the fig pin app to also virtually collect the characters. They also come with adorable, fantastic artwork as well. And this particular packaging is a little bit different as we now have some Shop Disney information on the back of these fig pins as well. And they are authentic Disney pins. We can also spot some authentic like Disney logos and artist proof stickers on the front of these so lots of authentication on them which is really really nice to see. And these fig pins in particular have white bases to them instead of their standard black so the colors really pop nice off of these characters. And for Mike Wazowski in particular and on the back of many fig pins you can spot the logos in which the company they are associated with. So this one in particular is Pixar and you can also see stated there limited release. We can see a really really nice blue background there to match this particular version of Mike Wazowski from Monsters University and we're going to take a really really nice look close-up look at these characters in their packaging and outside and I just want to express I know I'm going to say this a bunch of times throughout the video how incredible how detailed these fig pins are if you're a fan of any of these characters if you are friends or family that are a fan of any of these characters or any other characters that fig pin makes I would highly recommend getting them. They're such amazing collectibles. It is such a cool way, such a different way to view the characters and there's so many possibilities and ways to collect them. If you're a pin collector, if you're a figure collector, it covers so many different things and they're so nice to display and easy to dust too. So those are just a few great tips for these in particular. But let's take a look there at Mike Wazowski. He has the classic MU Monsters University blue cap on his head. Some beautiful shading there on Mike Wazowski. Nice little glares and tones and even the details there in his teeth from his time at Monsters University. Carrying lots of binders and he also has a gray kind of space gray looking metal surrounding him so really nice glare, nice shine there on the vibrant Mike Wazowski. Moving on to a different tone of character, the next one once again, the limited release, and you can see all of those beautiful stickers all the way around. This is Maleficent collectible pin number 646. This one is nice and spooky, reminds me of that Disney Villains collection that we've taken a look at before, and I'll have all of my other fig pin videos linked down below. This one is also limited release and has a very nice subtle purple background, and there you can see the beautiful Maleficent hopefully crossing my fingers 
that Fantasmic will be coming back soon, but this is such a beautiful character as there's lots of moving fabrics and different tones and colors all throughout those nice shades of purple and pink and almost a marbly looking gray, very textured looking cape like outfit Maleficent there is wearing. Again, their use of shading and details is really, really nice and very, very fine 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 prints on there and this one also has the almost space gray looking metal around it. Let's take a visit here to a princess. This is also a limited release. This is from the Disney Princess Collection. This is the Disney Parks Shop Disney version of Belle. This is considered Princess Belle collectible pin number 620. Three. We have taken a look at the Disney Princess ones before as well, but this one is very special as this one is super, super sparkly, very iridescent as Disney states. This one has some beautiful glare in her hair, very, very sparkly. Her eyes are also shimmering all the way down to her dress. We're actually spotting some glitter, little, little glitter paint there all over, along with our little sparkle kind of prints, little pattern that they do on the characters, which is really, really nice super super ruffly dress which i really love very very fancy very romantic like beautiful beautiful outfit there you can see there with Belle. love her little shoes even very very f like fluid m movement pose she has there moving on to the next characters these ones are from the star wars collection you can see a nice faded blue background there with the limited release stated once again this first one is r2d2 with grogu fig pin number 644. look at the details of these we j again we just take a look at some of the other star wars ones but this one is super exciting in reference to the boba fett series which just wrapped up this is so exciting to see them together r2d2 has personally been a favorite of mine and seeing the little child little grogu with him is so very special i absolutely love the shading done on grogu down there once again that kind of space gray darker outline on these characters you can see just the emotion in them little grogu kind of admiring the classic, the historic R2-D2 there, very shimmery, shiny metal. Like so many different tones and colors, it's super nice, but very, very subtle. Captures the characters beautifully as always. And speaking of Boba Fett, this next one here is Boba Fett Prototype Armor, number 645. This one in the back, you'll see that Mandalorian logo on the artwork, which is super, super nice to see. And this is, again, the Prototype Armor, so nice different look here to our classic favorite character, Boba Fett. And Figpin has also announced that they will be making Boba Fett series as well, so I'm looking forward to seeing those here as they are released. This one also has a super interesting pose, nice different look to this character, and even though this is just the white prototype armor, lots and lots of details and shading done to make this character very 3D, very alive. I can almost see the movement, the glare in his eye right now, as he just is... He's definitely getting ready for a battle or looking out there into the horizon, getting ready for his next mission. Now we're approaching some of my absolute favorites from the collection. We're approaching the Disney Park ones, but first, this one is a beautiful classic. What a way to step back and admire that Disney history. We are approaching the 100th year anniversary, so that is also super exciting. This one is Mickey Mouse, aka Steamboat Willie, fig pin at number 685. I love the nice little steamboat wheels and little lifesavers there in the back. So, so very cute. Nice and subtle touch there. This is from the Disney Mickey and Friends collection. Once again, limited release. How adorable is his little face. He's whistling away his classic little pose there. And even though it's super, super simple, just the tones of gray, black, and white, it is classic. It feels like it's pulled right out of the cartoon. So beautiful. And what a great size. It's a really, really big pin. And I love seeing it in this case. It's timeless. Mickey will forever be timeless and I love getting to see him in this way. The next character we have here is so, so beautiful. I think of Disney World every time I see her. This is from the Disney Classics Collection. Beautiful green sparkly background. This is Disney Tinker Bell Figpin number 647. This one is so, 
sparkly and her pose is stunning and I love how she floats there above the base. It looks like she is indeed flying through and sparkling magic all over. I love her very very glittery wings and dress. It is so so shiny, so so sparkly. Again, a very very simple character, but the use and the like art style design is very very nice and the super fine cut sparkles at the top of her wand absolutely incredible. I love Tinkerbell. This one's so, so pretty. Okay, now we're moving on to the ones that I screamed when I heard about, and that is the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary characters. We're first going to take a look at Figpin number 775. This is Disney Dale, as it is stated here, also from the Mickey and Friends collection, also limited release. This one has a very nice plain green background with some little leaf and acorn details. Super cute. And Dale here looking so very excited. He's in his perfect pose for the 50th, and this stuff matches the merchandise perfectly. These are spot on. Their 50th outfits are literally my favorite thing. So seeing them in this different way in a closer look is super pretty. Has that iridescent glow, little light shimmery sparkles all throughout, and just that classic look of Dale. So so happy, so so very excited. And again it feels like they're pulled right out of the cartoon. And of course we cannot have Dale without his Dear friend, it's Chip. Again, same background there from the Mickey and Friends collection, limited release, and Chip is number 774. I love how they chose to do a different pose, both of them together, their different personalities captured so very nicely. The little furry cheeks are also super cute as they both wear their 50th anniversary suits. Now moving on to our next 50th character, so very excited to see this one. Also from the Mickey and Friends collection, a beautiful red background full of Mickey Mouse heads. This is Minnie Mouse, fig pin number 772. I'm gonna stare at this one all day, every day. Look at her dress, absolutely beautiful. I have no other words to say. I am honestly speechless with this one. The beautiful tie-dye ombre look with all of those little twinkly sparkles. The 50th is literally my favorite thing. So I am absolutely freaking out with this one and seeing Mickey and Minnie in their special little poses celebrating Walt Disney World. I don't, I don't know what else to say besides how much I love 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 the details of that and of course cannot have many without mickey fig pin number 773 look at his pose these are literally pulled right out of all of the little ads and all of the little cartoons and literally pulled right out of the parks mickey mouse bring him home celebrate the 50th forever look at his outfit oh my gosh i I don't know what to say guys. I this is this is so awesome. This is such a great way to bring home the 50th. What a great way to display and remember these outfits. These are going to be like I feel to be very like rare collectibles to have in the future. So so neat to have the different variations of Mickey Mouse and especially for this anniversary. So very magical indeed. And now we're approaching here two two very popular characters I know many of you guys will enjoy. We now have fig pin number 684. This is Orange Bird. I lost my mind when I saw him cheering there through the Florida sun. Look at the background. Also has little silhouettes of him. This is the Disney Parks collection. I'm hoping. I'm excited to see hopefully more of these in the future. And Orange Bird is such a classic iconic character to the Florida resort and he is just so happy cheering away sparkling i love the little shading the art style of fig pins i think is super unique very very cool and there's not much i can say about this one besides how much i i love it as a I am going to be going to the parks very soon so i'm looking forward to bringing these along and taking pictures of them I am so very excited. And the last one, the last one for this video, I apologize, I feel like I'm going so fast, but I'm so excited about these and I hope that you are too. This last one, the one and only Figment, Figpin, number 683. Figpin Figment, love it, so excited about it. Look at his little silhouettes there in the back along with little light bulbs and different things you may spot on the classic Disney Parks 
Epcot attraction. He is almost ready to give you a hug, it looks like. Very classic figment pose there, used on lots of different merchandise. You can see very beautiful tones there of orange and purple and pink. So much figment, and I love him so, so very much. I am so happy that they chose to explore some Disney Parks exclusive characters, and what, what a year to do it. What a time to do it for the 50th. I'm in love with all of these. I'm really, really stuck on my favorites, but I have to say probably the 50th ones, Orange Bird, Figment, Tinkerbell, ugh, they're all my favorites. I would love to hear down below in the comments which one is your favorite or what other Disney Park fig pins do you hope they'll make? I have no idea. I am so, so very happy with these ones and I'm excited to spot them in the parks too and maybe give you some new ideas of another collection to begin. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I will see you all next time. Bye!